Street Switch Photography. Morning YouTube. Today I've decided to take a walk up to Thorpe Road Cemetery. Um, I came up to see my dad and my father-in-law and I'm also doing a review on this little number right here. This is the Kodak, let me just get the, the, the word in right here. This is the Kodak Easy Share C143. It's a 12 megapixel camera. Um, it's got a flash. The lens on it is the Kodak AF 3x optical zoom, 32mm uh, to 96mm. Uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get some decent photos. I needed something with a lot of colour in them. So I thought I'd come up the cemetery today and get some pictures. Because there's lots of flowers about. Some people like it, some people don't. I ain't bothered. But it's quite a nice little camera. And I think it gives quite a nice retro feel to your photos. And I just thought it would be interesting to see what this little fella's capable of. Now, I have done reviews in the past on film cameras and another Digicam, one of my favourites, and that was the Olympus Camedia. But this one is fairly new to me. Um, I've used it a couple of times, but nothing, uh, nothing special. It's a Digicam. It's got the old CCD Kodak sensor in it. And, yeah, let's see how it performs. I'm going to go and take some photos, and if they're any good, I'll put them here. Take a look. So the general idea of this camera is actually to get some uh, photos with plenty of colour in them because the CCD sensors tend to render colour differently or the cameras that use the CCD sensors tend to render colour differently than what your new uh, CMOS sensors do. Now I mean these, these, little, these little cameras that I'm using today they've uh, gone up in popularity quite a lot and the prices are actually going up quite fast now as well. So I thought to myself, what I'll do is, I'll buy an absolute ton of them, whilst they're cheap. It might just be, you know, a new fad or something like that, but there's something about the, uh, that early, well, the late 90s, early 2000s feel that people like to the pictures. It's becoming quite a popular thing at the moment. So, I like the retro look of them. I certainly like retro anyway, anything retro. And I just thought this would be a good place to actually come and actually take some colourful photos. Because you really do get some absolutely beautiful colours up here, especially in autumn, as it is now. I'll turn the camera around so you can see. I mean, all the colours that you get in autumn are just absolutely amazing. And it is my favourite time of year for street photography and photography like this as well. So I just thought the CCD sensor in this little camera that I'm using at the moment would be a good uh, a good thing to try and test today. I'll go and take some pictures of some trees now to see what colour in the leaves we can get. So I'll go and grab some more pictures, see what I can get. If they're any good, have a look at this business. See you in a minute. So that was the photo with the trees. Um, I come up here quite a lot anyway because I obviously come up to visit my dad at his uh, at his resting place, sit and have a chat to him. But the, like I say, you're not going to get colours like this anywhere else. Well, you will get them in other places, but not this time of year. People are always picking fresh flowers up for the loved ones, coming down here and obviously putting them on their place of rest, which is to me a nice thing and. Obviously the colour and everything else of a CCD sensor is really going to enhance that uh, 
that look that it gives. So that's why I come up uh, graveyards. I used to come up before even my dad had passed away. I used to walk around here. This place up here was basically my old stomping ground. This is where I used to hang around as a kid because we lived on King's Road. I used to go to Brownlow School. We used to play hide and seek in here. This was back when it was safe for your kids uh, to go out and play on the streets. And we always knew when it was time to go home because the street lamps had come on and you didn't get long after school in the winter to go out and play. The fact that I lived straight across the road from the school did help. So we used to, yeah, run around in the fog, the smell of the soot and the, the coal fires going back in the early 80s. I used to love it. Absolutely, lo you know, it was fantastic. Really good sort of childhood memories. Yeah, let's get some more pictures. I'll include them in this video. Have a look at these. <laughs> The ergonomics of this camera, I've got to admit, are awful. And I'm used to using a viewfinder. I like to uh, see what's going on through an optical viewfinder. And with this being a digital back with not the highest of resolutions, it is difficult to line a shot up and actually get anything half decent out of it. But, like I said, looking at the pictures, there is a definite retro feel there to these pictures. The ergonomics of the camera is absolutely awful as well. I've got quite big hands, so such a small camera is difficult for me to actually fiddle about with and actually get the shutter to shut when I actually press the shutter. It's taking a second to actually get any photo. So I've ended up with a couple of blurry pictures and yeah, I think that could be better. But like I say, it was back in uh, 2000 and I, th I believe this one was 2008 that this one was actually made. Now, the fact that it's got the Kodak colour sensor in it is a very attractive thing for people to buy this camera if you've got smaller hands I don't think you'll have any problem with it and I'm still going to carry on using it um, for retro looking photos probably do a bit of street photography with it so I will be doing another review um, again battery life on it if you're using flash isn't going to last that long but you can use it without the flash but I like to use it with the flash because it gives that toy camera disposable camera look to your photos now there's something about the ccd sensor that gives a an absolutely stunning grain to your photos and i've just found something i'm going to take a photo of which i'll turn the camera around don't know if you can see it or not just here oh i fell in a hole i'm going to get a picture of this with the camera and see how it actually turns so let's get a picture of this mushroom i'll take a few of them and let's see how it looks. See you in a minute. Have a look. Now there's one thing I have noticed looking at the images off the, out of this camera is the uh, the resolution is not too bad at all with it being uh, I think it's about 10 to 12 megapixels. Now there's something I've noticed also about CCD sensors. I've got past the part now of worrying about megapixels on my camera. You get a lot of landscape photographers which I can understand need the megapixels there for the detail. They need that clinical looking photo that everybody sort of looks at and goes, oh, that's sharp, but I'm not into that type of thing. I'm into photos that represent a memory in time, a snippet in time. And I don't know about you guys, but all my memories are not tack sharp and they're not perfect. Memories aren't supposed to be perfect. They're supposed to make you smile. They're supposed to make you think to yourself, that's got some age to it back then. Look how young I looked and everything else, you know. And it leaves a little bit to the imagination. So yeah, I've got that photo of the uh, the mushroom. Let me know in the comments if you liked it or not. I'm gonna go and take some more photos, see what I can get. 
and uh, we'll go from there. Again, autumn, absolutely beautiful time of year for photography. So why not go and pick yourself up a Digicam and give it a go? See you in a minute. So, as you can see, I've tried to get as many autumny colours into these photos as I actually can to see what this CCD sensor is uh, actually capable of and what all the hype is about. I hope you enjoy the photos as much as I did taking them. So, I'm going to call this the end of the video. The end of the video, no joke. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe because if you subscribe to my channel, it helps the algorithm um, and gets me to more notice. There will be some more exciting content to come in the very near future. I've got a couple of interviews and a couple of uh, other videos that I want to do. Some more controversial ones, but today I thought I'd do a little bit of what I enjoy doing. So yeah, as I just said, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. And I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Goodbye for now. Street switch photography.